So today I want to talk about the things that you must know before you start planning for your finances. Okay, let's start off first by understanding what financial planning truly is. You see, the concept of financial planning can be best explained using the analogy of a jigsaw puzzle. Right? When it comes to fixing a jigsaw puzzle, it is natural that all of us will first like to know how the final product of the puzzle will look like before we start searching for the pieces to complete the puzzle. Financial planning is no different from that. It is an exercise that will help us understand how our final product, which is our goals and our outcomes that we want to have, would look like before we start looking around for the pieces, which in this case refers to the financial instruments and products, to complete the puzzle itself. Right? Unfortunately, most of us here in Singapore, we are doing it backwards. Right? Most of us tend to look for the pieces first without knowing how our final product will look like. And as a result, we will end up purchasing and investing in the wrong instruments and products which will jeopardize our financial progress. You see, financial planning is a goal-oriented and outcome-focused process. Its focus should never be on products and instruments. You should first figure out your destination and a different possible path will naturally emerge. Right? So what are the different areas of financial planning that you need to address? These are the key areas of financial planning that everybody has to talk about and address regardless of whether you're rich, whether you're poor, old or young. Right? In order of importance, the first thing that you need to address is of course your risk management. For this area, we are dealing with the what ifs in your life. Right? Before you start growing and accumulating your wealth, you must have in place measures that can protect your existing plans, assets, as well as lifestyles from any external forces. The second thing is your budget planning. For this area, we are trying to quantify both your short and your long term plans so that we can balance out the amount that you need to save in cash and the amount that you can afford to invest for the long duration. Right? The third thing that you want to look at is of course your wealth accumulation. For this area, we are trying to come up with a strategy and a system that can help you grow and accumulate your wealth. Basically, you have to figure out how you would like to position and manage your own investments to achieve the returns that you need without exposing yourself to unnecessary risk based on your goals and your budget. The fourth thing is of course your taxes. Right? For this area, we are trying to lower your taxable income while balancing the trade-offs between the returns and the costs associated with doing so. The last thing that you want to talk about is your estate planning. For this area, we are dealing with how you can retain the value of your assets in your eventual demise and smoothly distribute it to the parties of your wishes without any legal delays or disputes. All right. So, to properly plan and manage your finances, you must consider all your areas of financial plan simultaneously. Right? Like it or not, the different areas of a financial plans are all interconnected. You cannot address one section of a financial plan without taking into consideration of how it will affect other areas. Failure to do so will result in mistakes that will only jeopardize your performance, resulting in an inability to achieve your goals. Right? So how can you get started then? You see, financial planning is a systematic process that's goal-focused and outcome-oriented. Having said that, the first step of financial planning is to understand and quantify your own goals and expectations. The second step is then to understand your current situation, the type of lifestyle that you're leading, the type of portfolio that you're managing, and etc in relation to the goals and expectations that we've figured out in part one, right? And the third step is to understand what's the gap between your present and your desired state. Basically, what's the gap between part one and part two, and then come up with an implementation gap or implementation plan that will bridge this gap itself, right? So these are the three sequential steps that you can adopt to get started with your own financial planning. But naturally, all of this planning and implementation takes up a lot of time and requires you to have the necessary know-how, which is quite demanding. 
And of course, most of us who are working, we don't really have the luxury of time nor the interest to pick up necessary know-how. If you're in this type of situation, the next best course of action is to engage a financial planner to help you shortcut this process. Right? So that's all I have for the video today. And if you feel that you don't have the time nor the interest to do your own research and to come up with your own financial plan, and would like to understand how you can benefit from working with an independent financial advisor and a certified financial planner, do reach out to me via my website. Right? Do connect with me on the, so the following social media platform as well in order to stay updated with future content. And you can do always slide into my DMs anytime when you have any questions, right? I'll be happy to help. So that's all I have for today and I hope to connect with you all soon.